What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing Big Mom from One Piece. So I'm on landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand and stuff. We'll start with our eyes. So center point of my page, approximately here. Just come up a little bit over to the right hand side. And she's got kind of um, like a big frown, right? So we'll do her frown first. So let's go up like so. And it kind of hooks down the end just there. And then her eye is just in underneath this, right? So she's got like an oval sort of eye, right? Curve line there. And then comes out from right close to the bottom of her frown line. Just comes out here. Like so. And then she does have eyelashes. So like two or three, just there. And then her pupil and her iris. So circle, like so. You could color it black if you want, but I think she has red eyes. And so we'll put like a tiny little dot just in the middle. Like so. So she could have like an eyelid line just here. And then we'll come over and do the same thing on the other side. So we go up. It's kind of like a mirror image. Over to there. And then we do a curve line for the top of the eye. And then this comes down around. Like so. And then her pupil, just like a circle. Like that, with a dot in the middle. Okay, so extra frown sort of lines just here. And she's an eyelid line there. And then she has more frown lines on top. So this kind of curves up and down here. Right? So kind of up on this side as well. And down the other side, like so. And then we've got some wrinkle lines around her eyes, right? So sort of coming around the bottom. And then some sort of like crow's feet kind of you know, wrinkle lines just around her eyes here. Coming around underneath her eye on the other side as well. So then her nose, so she's pretty big nose. Um, you could have some like, you know, wrinkle lines and things on the nose here, but generally it's just a big round nose, right? Like so. And you can see some nostrils on the sides. So this comes out here. This comes out like so. And maybe like an extra line just there on that side. So she has like these big cheeks. They're like eggs on her face, right? So pretty crazy looking. So it's like curves around, goes up side of her head and then it kind of goes right up towards top of her face there right so she's they're like these just big crazy cheeks right and then on the other side as well curves around like so and you can have a couple more wrinkles and stuff there So her mouth, so it comes right down underneath her nose. Right, her nose actually hangs down below her lips. Like that. And then the other side comes down. Like so. Then her teeth, so we've got well, I guess side of her mouth first, just so we know where the teeth go. So like this is like the bottom part of her mouth. So it curves down around. 
back up the other side, right? Then her teeth comes across the top. So we got like layers and layers of these teeth like so, kind of round. the other side and her tongue is sticking out in this picture right so her tongue kind of comes out like so and then the bottom of it will come out here and then it goes back in like here somewhere of course if you go over any lines you can erase them you should be using a pencil so Another line there like that and I'll just erase those lines now okay so then the rest of her teeth right so round sort of teeth two in the middle like that underneath those two and then these the rest will come up the side of her mouth like so and you could possibly see maybe one or two over here in the corner. So we have to do her bottom lip as well, right? So it kind of comes down from the side of her mouth. So it comes down here. You're just kind of tracing that line you did previously. And then this comes up the other side. She could have some like lines on the side of her mouth stretch lines kind of thing so her she's her she doesn't have like a chin or a neck or anything it all just goes into kind of, kind of like one blob kind of thing so um so we can just see hair and then some lines for neck right so we do her bandana right it just goes underneath these in between, jump over her eyebrows, right? Like that, so you're just in a flat line. And then the top of that curves around there. And then this has kind of all circles and things. It's like purple and yellow. Right, like that. And then lots of hair spikes and stuff, right? So like hair sticking out here. And it kind of comes down the side of her face on the opposite side here like this, kind of flowing. Right? Then we start to bring it up in this sort of spiky kind of fashion, okay? Comes across here, we meet another layer. Like this, okay? You can have some uh, texture lines on it if you want. So, right, and we do pretty much the same thing on the other side. Just do your sort of flowing, bumping kind of section just here. And then they'll start to sort of spike up on this side. Just sort of copy in the other side. Just generally spiking hair. It goes underneath her sort of head here as well. Her like bandana area. And if you want, we can add like a couple more spikes and texture lines and stuff on the inside. Not totally essential, but it's in the picture. 
Right, so then her neck, what we can see of it, her, her sort of jaw slash neck slash chin. So it comes out around like so, and then maybe like a line for her chin, just down there. Extra line or two for rolls of skin, like so. Right, so we do her uh, pirate hat now. So it's like a bowl sort of sticking up. So it like comes down like there. And we go underneath around and then come out the opposite side somewhere like here. So. Right, so now we'll bring it in and on this side it has a strap on it so it has a, like a double sort of bump strap with a button a line up the middle and then this comes across and then we we'll bring it down up and around Right, and we're pretty much doing the same thing, right? So we're gonna go down, but we're gonna to attempt to do the same thing. We're gonna try our best. It goes up like so. And then bring it back. It doesn't have to be an exact mirror image. This guy's side can be slightly different to the other side. Okay. And then this is going to come around the back of her hat. Right, so go back that way. Um, the other side is slightly different because it's got um, kind of fluff or something coming out, right? So, sorry, now I'm just moving my picture. Okay, so like here. Here, like so. Like so, this will come out a little bit here. Right. But there's more of this that comes down, but we'll finish the hat first, okay? We'll just go back over this side and add an extra layer to the side of our hat, just there. And then there's a gold trim, like a yellow, sort of golden sort of trim that comes around all of this hat area. If you're just tracing the same shape again, going around the side, and around to there, okay? And then there's like skull and crossbones and stuff on the inside, right? So. So on the bottom, so there's all these shapes. I guess we'll start with the skull. So I guess that's the easiest way. So we'll start in the middle with his nose. You just do this sort of upside down love heart for a skull nose. You can color it in black. And then circle, circle, eyes in the middle. And then our skull, so we're like up around the top, there. Then we got like cheekbones coming out here. And then the teeth, so it comes out. Like that. And the bottom of his jaw is like separated, it's like down here. So it comes around the bottom of Big Mom's hat. Like that. So it's like his mouth is open. And then there's like waves or spirals or something on the on this side. Like so. And then the other side of that comes up back into there. And then we do the same thing here. Like a wave spiral sort of shape. Like so. And there's like blades behind the head, right? So 
there's like so like swords or something sticking out right so you just have a line there and they're like crisscross one another right like that and then a handle just like a rectangle there with a small little now cartoonish real simple you know just like this like so and then the top of these swords come out the real wide up the top curvy like that okay so big mom uh so her chest and her sort of clothing her top she wears so she has like these straps that come down here okay All right and we got like a golden button and these go all the way down right but we'll, we'll just do two for the time being on either side right so then the outside of her chest curves around like so and the outside of her chest on this side curves around like that and then these lines curve all the way in to the middle right like so and then you go pretty much out the other side big curving line all the way up to the top so you're trying to make them even they don't have to be perfectly even um, and then we add more of those coins on top or their sundials or something so all the way down And then we go the other way. All right, like so. And it's got, um, each of these has sort of a sun, sort of a bump kind of on the inside. Like so, and then little sort of dots and dashes like trying to make it look like a rising sun that's what you're after Okay, basically like that. She could have some extra lines on her chest, just on the inside there. Um, but generally that's it, right? So then her arms, right? She's got pretty wide shoulders. She's got like, I think she's got like a cape on, right? So it comes down just behind her arm, right? So it comes down here. And this comes back up around into there and just goes behind her head, right? Pretty much the same thing on this side. This cape goes behind her arm. That's why it's small, we can't see all of it. Okay, and then her arms will come down here. So, all right, go just off my page. Can't really see her hands, maybe a little bit. We can just see maybe the start of her thumb. But we can't see much. Maybe like a line for her wrist or something just there. Right, and she has a tattoo on this arm, so like a love heart, like that, with a line around it with a spiral at the end, like so. You pretty much can do the same thing on the other, other side, doesn't have to be the exact same. Arm goes off the page there, and then thumb. Maybe like a wrist line or something. Don't think she has a tattoo on this side. So it makes it easier for us. Um, and she, oh, on her chest, she has polka dots.
this kind of thing. So you can do this many different ways. You know, just adding these polka dots or circles. That's it. Right now, just the rest of her hair and that cloud. So more hair spikes coming all the way down. Well, it's not a cloud really. It's not the cloud she uses as her power. I mean, it's the, you know, the, the fluff that's coming out of her hat. So we just add like lots of sort of, think like, sheep sheep's wool <laughs> just these curvy lines going down just behind her hair here right and then just hair on the other side just these spiking sort of lines like this you can add some texture to them if you want all the way down her head okay like so and I think that that's everything how to draw big mom from one piece hope it was helpful guys thanks for watching see you in the next one bye